mazungumzo kati yake na kinara wa upinzani Raila Odinga wiki hii akizungumza hii leo kaunti ya Kwale eneo la Ukunda rais alielezea kuwa mazungumzo na upinzani yanalenga kutuliza mirindimo ya kisiasa Brana Mwai anatufungulia taarifa zetu Tofauti za mada ya mazungumzo zimeanza kuibuka ambapo mirengo hiyo miwili imeanza kutofautiana kuhusu baadhi ya masuala yanayofaa kuangaziwa. Siku ya Jumapili mrengo wa azimio la umoja ulijitenga na kauli iliyotolewa na kiongozi wa walio wengi katika bunge la kitaifa Kimani Shungwa huku mrengo huo ukisema kuwa kauli hiyo sio ya mirengo yote miwili. Yesterday Kenya Kwanza released a one-sided statement signed by Honorable Kimani Chungwa that they claimed to incorporate our views. We disowned the statement by Honorable Chungwa as Mio had nothing to do with it. Siku ya Jumamosi Kimani Shungwa alitoa kauli inayosema mazungumzo hayo yatangazia kurekebishwa kwa tume huru na mipaka nchini IBC kutekelezwa kwa sheria ya kijinsia ya thuluthi mbili kuimarishwa kwa fedha za maendeleo ya maeneo bunge kubuniwa kwa ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani na ile ya mkuu wa mawaziri Mrengo wa azimio la umoja umeshikilia msimamo wao kuwa gharama ya juu ya maisha ndio mada kuu ya mazungumzo hayo Our priority for discussion is the escalating costs of living which has only got worse with the lifting of the conservatory honda on the 2023 finance act last week. We want to see actions by the regime that will lead to the immediate lowering of cost of living. It is our position that this issue does not require any discussion but policy or action by the Kenya Kwanza government. Negotiations must therefore include the repeal of the oppressive, cruel and insensitive Finance Act 2023. Suala la nafasi sawa kwa Wakenya wote pia ni mojawapo ya mazungumzo watakayopeleka mezani wakati wa mazungumzo hayo. Negotiations must include the issue of inclusivity. Kenya kwanza must be made to disown and disavow the illegal and constitutional and divisive efforts to turn Kenya into a private company that hires only those who voted for Kenya Kwanza. Uchunguzi wa uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 na kurekebishwa kwa tume huru na mipaka IBC kwa kuzingatia uhuru wa vyama ni swala ambalo azimio itawasilisha mezani. Kadhalika wajibikaji wa utumiaji wa nguvu kupita kiasi kwa waandamanaji ni kiungo muhimu ya mazungumzo kulingana na mrengo wa upinzani. Mrengo wa azimio vile vile umeshikilia msimamo kuwa utaendelea kuwashirikisha wa Kenya. Hata hivyo azimio pia wamesuta mrengo wa Kenya kwanza kwa kutu tambua uwepo wa aliyekuwa rais wa Nigeria ule segundo obasanjo nchini they denied the presence of president sulhu here a few weeks ago and now they want to deny the presence of his excellency obasanjo aida rais ruto amesema kuwa amekuwa akifanya mikutano na viongozi wa upinzani brana mwai look up tv Nairobi Kwingineko hukuma.